Nice to meet you, sir. It's Wayne Mata, Master Grayson. It's my pleasure to meet you. Could you, uh, help him get settled in? I've got to run back out to the office. But I'll be back, and I'll see you in the morning, Dick. Why, certainly, Master Wayne. We'll get the young sir settled in. Come along, young sir. Let's get you settled in. Just Alfred will do. My condolences on the loss of your parents. Master Bruce, I know you mean well, sir, but are you sure this course of action is the proper one to take? And you should already know my answer. But Master Wayne, bringing the boy here, the chance of exposure... Alfred, this boy watched his parents die right in front of him. I understand what that feels like. I've got to get on some close to them as quick as I can. Triple homicide tonight, Alfred. But, sir, Would seem the logical choice, sir. I'll see to the young master, sir.
seemed like every time I got myself to sleep, I'd wake up my mother's screams. I couldn't get them out of my head. Well, I figured I'm going to live in this big old house. Might as well take a stroll and get to know my way around. First stop was the kitchen for something to eat. I couldn't believe how big this place was. And that it was just Bruce and Alfred living here. The place was ginormous. My mother always saying that out of something bad always comes something good. Well, maybe Bruce was that something good.
Very hero-esque, Master Dick. Nice job you did on my costume, Alfred. My mom will be proud. It was my pleasure. Come on, Mobile. Let's go. Come on, Mobile. Let's go. Road, Zuto. It's time to have some fuel crimes. <laughs> Holy sissy, did you hear that Batman? He screamed like a bitch. Yeah, but I think he's dead, kid.